Mullen continuing its upside thrust on the last couple days. Very good stuff. Let's go ahead and find out what could happen for the upcoming sessions. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again on this fine Thursday night. This is Arca coming at you with an MULN, Mullen Automotive, technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called RCAB. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so we're looking at MULN on the eight hour chart. Okay, so Mullen is actually showing some very, very positive price action. And we're going to start off this medium term time frame analysis with the eight hour chart. Okay, so we're going to look at it with the indicators. Okay, so these indicators are Cryptex Arc Series indicators, which are available to you. Just send me a DM and we'll go ahead and go over the subscription packages, but check out what they do. Okay, so this indicator in particular is called Arc DBSI. So DBSI gives us a, statistic, a statistical <laughs> value. Uh, so it actually takes a metric of every single candle printed throughout the entire trading history of the asset in its particular time frame. So in this case, we're looking at the eight hour time frame and you can see that it is giving us a statistical score and, uh, and it's actually a, a strength, right? T think of it as a, as a battle. So we're looking at the 86% uh, the bull lead over the bears at 14%. So very good stuff, okay? Now, now, particular to the ARC Enhanced MACD, which is this one right down here. So it's comprised of uh, not only buy and sell signals, which also DBSI uh, also caters, which actually right, by the way, uh, at the opening of today's candle, which could have been at about $22.94, uh, DBSI gave us a print and it did give us a buy signal. Okay, so it looks like there's also uh, some news coming up right here. So let's see, Mullen's stock heats up uh, as cost. Okay, as the cost of borrow rises. Wow. So, okay, very good things coming up for C, uh, for MULN, you guys. Good things, good things. Okay, so yes, we do have a buy signal from DBSI. And as you can see, Enhanced MACD has not printed that buy signal just yet. I believe that it is being a little more conservative. But to tell you the honest truth, the way that this candle structure is being set up, it looks pretty pretty bullish. And I don't mean by this green candle. I mean overall in the price action, the way it's happening. Okay, it's looking... Uh, it's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and validate more of those moves. So another thing to notice here is that the Enhanced MACD does have Bollinger Bands uh, within the indicator's algorithm itself. So you can actually see that the Bollinger Bands are now starting to contract, getting tighter and tighter. OK, so this means that there could potentially be a buy signal printed here in the next day. OK, so this is definitely a good thing. So as soon as we do get that buy signal, you can you can actually expect the Bollinger Bands to start expanding just like they did here upon that bull signal firing off. Okay, very good things for MULN coming up. Let's go ahead and now move on to the statistical side of the analysis as this is very important for us to go over. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get rid of the moving averages so we can have uh, a better a better visibility. Okay, so new viewers, uh, you are looking at volatility here, represented by this indicator BBWP. So volatility is direction neutral. We actually do need for uh, to pair it with an indicator similar to this one down here or this one. So this one's particular to uh, or or uh, you can call it. Uh, proprietary to trading view software it's called stochastic momentum okay so stochastic momentum gives us that bias for direction and we can actually see that that direction suggestion is continuing to the upside why am i touching on this because we've actually recently started to reverse from critical volatility which i consider to be anything within this 90 percentile uh, range okay above this blue trend line okay so i've taken note of every single iteration throughout the entire trading history of the mullen asset in the 12 hour time frame in particular okay so i've actually done this back test by hand and um i've i've actually come back with some very interesting results so now that statistical value uh is actually towards the upside okay so upon uh meeting about let's see 21 iterations total through the uh, throughout the entire trading history in the 12 hour chart nine of those i'm sorry 12 of those were actually guessed to the upside correctly giving giving us an upside accuracy of about 50 57 spot 14 percent with a massive upside thrust of about 172 spot 12 percent over just about 13 and a half days this is proof of work okay so why i'm mentioning this is because the signal is fired and we are officially in play for this play now i'm talking about 
I'm, I'm, what I'm really talking about here is a, is a statistical value, okay? It's for us to evaluate. It's not for us to take as a certainty because these uh, these metrics are, are, are based on historical volatility, so we have to uh, take them as such, okay? So we are looking at a potential move since the firing of the signal was actually at the opening of this candle. I'm sorry, at the, yeah, at the opening of this candle yesterday uh, based on the momentum suggesting the upside and crossing the pivot into contraction phase, we can actually see that 172 spot 12% move to the upside land at about 58 cents which is very much in confluence with the with the high that we faced uh just a few days ago okay about a week or two ago so that would that went up to about 64 cents interesting that it would take us right into that level there okay you guys so very good stuff looking uh I'm sorry statistically speaking yes this is very 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 attractive okay so let's go ahead and move on to the last part of the analysis which is actually the RSI chart. So in particular to this chart, there is a divergence uh, series happening right now that I would like for you guys to uh, really hone in on. So um, what you're looking at here, well, first of all, divergence is the opposition of price action versus momentum. So in this case, momentum represented by RSI, Relative Strength Index. So now for the new viewers, this pink line represents a 14-day moving average, a simple moving average, and the pink and the purple line actually represents uh, the RSI signal itself. It's pretty standard for uh, for an RSI setup. Okay, there's nothing uh, automated within this indicator itself. I draw all these lines myself. Okay, just so that you can be able to see where we are okay so in this in this particular case what we are actually witnessing are several drives of phantom hidden bullish divergence and the way that happens is actually when price action is making a series of lower lows and momentum is actually making a series of higher lows okay so in this case you can actually see that we're you know crossing price action and crossing all this from getting from point a to point b which by the way makes it phantom when we do carry uh when we do carry the path through price action to get from point A to point B. Okay, you guys, so that uh, several, several drives of bullish divergence here, hidden bullish divergence, and you can actually see that we're in play now. We have, on the daily chart in particular, we have actually made a bullish cross above the 14-day moving average and are now attempting to move outside of the shallow areas of the bear straight, I'm sorry, the bull weakness percentile, which actually is right in here, okay? Focus in on these four zones as I will be talking about them very often, okay? The position in which we're on right now or we're in right now is actually right near the middle of this uh, bull, uh, bullish control zone, okay? So the weakness percentile in in, uh, in specific, okay? So what I can say is that the upside continuation is very likely seeing that this upside uh, RSI signal is aggressively pivoted towards the upside, okay? Very good things coming up for GTII. Let's go ahead and now open up a multi-pane to finish off this analysis as I do have to get to a live session with you guys. Um, so let's look at this, okay? We're just gonna go ahead and expand some of these views. Uh, so that we can gauge a better uh, bias for that direction. So we're going to start off with the immediate short term, and it's going to be the R. I'm sorry, the 30 minute RSI. Okay, so you can actually see here that we're well within the grips of the of the bull strength percentile. We actually retraced, and we used the 14 day moving average as I spoke of in a live session just a couple nights ago. Um, we used it as a form of support before continuing on to the upside. Okay, so now we are very much in the very very deep areas of the bull strength percentile. We are likely to face a gravitational pull in the immediate short term right into the overbought percentile okay so things are still looking very good for uh, Mullen now let's go ahead and open up the buy hourly RSI as you can see here we are literally trending within this uh, within this border here between the bull strength and the overbought percentile okay so we do need to the moving average is suggesting a continuation to the upside okay so as long as we do maintain within this area here we can face some sideways uh, trading okay so we're going to actually have to look at another time frame to gauge a better uh, <clears throat> a better bias. Okay, sorry, I just got a little distracted by my phone. Going to flip that over. Can't have that happen. Okay, so now the six-hour time frame is now entering the bull strength percentile. Okay, now remember again the placement. Okay, the placement of the RSI signal is very important. We have to always notice when we're at these junctions. Okay, so as long as we do maintain within this shallow area of the bull weakness percentile, the likelihood of coming right back into the prior zone is likely. Okay, so or, or is a great likelihood. Okay, so so make 
make sure that we can actually look at the price action like this. Okay, this is likely to play out some sideways trading uh, up to the mid session tomorrow. Okay, you guys, if it isn't that FOMO just immediately dives in, uh, I am not telling you to buy, I'm not telling you to sell. Please know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment. I will give it to you as ugly as it is and as beautiful as it is. I do not care. I, I What I care about is to give you the right information, regardless of it being bullish or bearish, okay? This is how we get that true edge. This is how we trade real trades, okay? You guys, we're talking real trades, the real world stuff. No pumpers, no getting arrested, none of that stuff, okay? We believe, we we trade smart. We're, we're uh, we're smart people, okay? So now you can see that the daily time frame, actually the three-day time frame, very interesting here, using this, using the moving average as a, as a bounce, uh, this support area has now uh, had us enter into the into the zone, which is the the bear weakness percentile, okay? But uh, again, notice that we're in that deep area of the bear weakness percentile, so we can likely uh, come right back down into that bear strength and use the moving average once again as a form of support, okay? Let's look at a let's look at the buy daily. <laughs> Pardon me. New York Angelo coming up right here. Okay, so the uh, buy daily is suggesting an aggressive upside. We are now entering the shallow areas of the of the bear weakness percentile, which this is very good. We're, we're starting to enter that gravitational pull zone, okay? So we're going to likely dive right into that bull uh, weakness percentile. Very good stuff here, guys. Now, the 12-hour RSI, we haven't looked at one just yet, and you can see that it's now right at the junction between the bear uh, weakness and the bull strength. I'm sorry, the bull weakness and the bull strength, okay? As long as we do maintain ourselves within this area we can likely see some sideways trading but nonetheless the statistics are suggesting a massive upside move okay we are at resistance right now but it's okay I'm sure that uh, maybe FOMO can actually take care of this. Okay, you guys, so now also FOMO can invalidate this so panic selling can inv invalidate this 172% move to the upside. Okay, so uh, please, uh, please, guys, if you uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me, okay, uh, I'm going to leave the links in the description f uh, below for you to consider joining the RCAP trading community and uh, or come by and say hi on Twitter. Okay, so now if you want to trade like me, please uh, consider uh, opening up an account with TradingView as I am an accepted affiliate now and that would greatly uh, help me out with my trading future. Okay, you guys. Now, with that said, I wish you well, a very good night and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.